Kevin Harlan's voice. He got excited last night. I got excited. I got to apologize publicly to my dog for what I did to him last night watching Steph Curry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I got excited last night watching right. Curry. Okay. Um, TMI. You, I think, you, I think you were on the record for saying last season was better for Steph Curry than either of his MVP seasons. Right. Do we have the potential with a healthier and better Golden State team, even before Klay Thompson comes back, that, that he could be even better this year? Steph could definitely have a better year because we already know that statistically he's going to be phenomenal. Mm. But if he's putting up those same statistics and the team is winning more, that's just going to put extra sauce on it. We always applaud winning, and well, we should. So when you talk about a guy like Steph Curry, who none, we all think this guy is going to probably average 30 points or better this year, and he's going to do it for a team that's going to be possibly competing in the Western Conference, that's going to be, to me, one of his better seasons because what he was doing with Kevin Durant was phenomenal. But when you have Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson, it's so much more spacing. It's a lot easier. It's not, and I'm not saying it's easy, but you know what I'm saying. Yes. It, it, you can maneuver better. But when you are at the top of the key and all eyes are on you and the whole everybody's geared to just stop you and you still go out there and get your 30 points, you get your 35 points that night and the team wins, that just says something about how truly special and dynamic you are. So I think Steph Curry had a special year last year. I think he's set to have an even better year this year because I think the team is better. He make a great point. You remember the game, the first game was 5 of 21 from the field. He said it was trash. And, right. and they won. Right. And they beat the Lakers. Like, so the fact that they can win when he doesn't play at his best bodes well for their team. I, I think it's going to be interesting just to see. We talk about Clay coming back. They're also going to get James Wiseman back. Yeah. as well and you know you got to expect that he's going to be able to take another step as a young player in his development he's going to have a year in that system and they have tweaked their offense a little bit they, they've added a little bit more ball movement you know the ball they don't pound it as much as they did last season with this group uh he's impressive they've been impressive as well hey look at this list you heard so much of it during the broadcast last night and reggie miller did a great job sitting down with Steph before the season which aired before the game last night the curry is uh Coming up close on, on Ray Allen here, you know, I, I hate to overreact after after two games, but, but maybe you're not overreacting if you thought this was a possibility, GA. Is Golden State up there? In, should they be in the conversation? Do they have the opportunity to challenge in the Western Conference? Based on what we've seen early on, I, I think so. I, I, I really do. I, you look at how much c- more comfortable Andrew Wiggins looks mm-hmm. in, on that team. Now, the question is going to be, how they integrate Clay back in and where is he right. when he comes back? Because that's we, we don't know. We, we hope that he's going to be what he was, but, you know, he's missed two seasons. And, and, and now he's also missed the training camp from this season, in essence. So that's going to be a challenge for them because with him, I think that this team, when you look at that, that Western Conference, I, I don't think that anybody puts fear in you when you look at the West right now. When we, you, wrote, when we wrote over today, you said something that was very interesting. You said – this year you just can't wait to watch just how the season unfolds because you don't have those traditional dominant powers, mm-hmm. especially in the West where, okay, well, we know the Lakers have talent, but as we've seen, they're gonna, it's going to take some time for them to put it together. Is Phoenix for real? Yeah. You know, is, is Utah going to take that step in the playoffs? So there's a lot of questions. Is Denver going to take that next step? There's a lot of questions that have to be answered, and Golden State's right up there with those teams that are talented enough to make a run to the NBA Finals if certain questions are answered. If Klay Thompson comes back and he's looking like the old Klay, this team definitely has to be feared. When you talk about young guys like Kaminga using his athleticism, getting guys like Wiseman back, now you infuse athleticism into this older group and you have a totally different dynamic. And let's not forget about Poole. Poole had a great preseason. I like the way he started, yes. off this se- uh, started off the regular season. So I think this team has some young guys that can get out and go, some old dogs that know how to win, and they are in position to make a major run as long as they can get Klay Thompson looking similar to what he was before the injury. And that bench, you know, you talk about that supporting Andre cast. Iguodala's back. Iguodala's back, and glad he's okay. Looked like an old man knocking his hip last night. <laughs> thought, thought, thought he was going to need a cane, you know. <laughs> he, he might need a cane.